Welcome back to my tutorial on how to make a 2D platformer in Unity. Today we will be going over some of the general features in the Unity Editor and we will be importing assets into our game project. The very first thing we will look at is this big window in the middle of our screen. This is the scene window. For all intents and purposes, the scene window contains the objects of our game. You can have multiple scenes in a game. This is commonly referred to as levels in a game. At a later point in this series, we will be learning how to make multiple scenes in a game. If for some reason you can't see the scene window, you can access it by clicking on the window drop down menu, going to general, and clicking scene. You can also access it by hitting control and one. The next feature in the window we will be going over is the hierarchy window over here to the left. As you can see, the hierarchy window currently contains the current scene, which is labeled as the sample scene. The hierarchy window contains a list of all the game objects in the scene. A game object is every object in your game characters, scenery, lighting, and special effects are all game objects. If we click on the sample scene here, we will see it contains the game object called the main camera. By default, whenever you open a new project, it will always contain the sample scene and the main camera. If for some reason you cannot see the hierarchy window, as with the scene window, you can go over here to window, general, go down to hierarchy window, or hit control 4. Next, over to the right, is the inspector window. Game objects in the Unity Editor contain a variety of elements such as code scripts, sounds, meshes, and other elements, all of which we will be going over throughout this series. The inspector window displays detailed information about the currently selected game object. Right now, we have the main camera object selected. We see what is referred to as the transform component at the top of the inspector window. A component defines the behavior of a game object. The transform component determines the position, rotation, and scale of a game object in the scene. Every game object has a transform. We will be covering the transform component and other components in greater detail throughout this series. If you cannot see or locate the inspector window, simply go to Window, General, scroll down to Inspector, or hit Control 3. The last feature we will be going over today is the project window. The project window displays all the files related to your project, and it is the main way to navigate and find assets and other files. Assets are basically anything that you will utilize in the design of your game. Artwork, animations, audio files, and scripts are all assets. Right now, we are going to import pre-made art assets from the Unity Store to use in our game project. What you need to do is you're going to go up to here to Asset Store. This is the Unity Asset Store. It contains art, audio files, animations, and templates that you can use in any Unity game that you want to design. The artwork we're going to be using is going to be called Pixel Adventure. We are right here going to utilize Pixel Adventure 1. I've already actually downloaded this, so there would actually be a blue box here that was going to say download. So simply click that and let it download. After it's done downloading, hit import, and then this window will pop up. This is all the features and art that we will be importing into our game project. If you did not want any of these, you would simply unclick one and right here in this box it's going to show you exactly what that item looked like. Let's scroll down a little bit and find something like this apple. So we can't quite see it here but here are a bunch of little apples and probably their animations that would be used in our game project. But we want all of these. So we're going to click on the apple and then we're going to click on import. It's importing our package. probably going to be a minute. And there we go. So to organize ourselves a little better, we're going to create a separate file to put all our artwork in. So we're going to right click on the asset window, we're going to go up to create, we're going to go to folder, and we're just going to simply call this art. We're going to take our pixel adventure and we're gonna put it into that folder now when we open that folder we have our pixel adventure folder and in it are all of our 
art assets that we are going to be using throughout this series. Now that we have our assets, we can get moving on building our game. In the next video, we'll be putting together our background and the terrain for our game. Thank you once again for watching. Like my video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and support my content on Patreon. All the links are below in the description. See you next time.